They call it the golden crop, and not only for its coloring. Palm oil exports earned Malaysia some $13 billion last year. The trees yield between 6 and 10 times more oil per hectare than other major oil crops, a huge advantage with global demand for edible oils predicted to surge over the next few years. This is the biological advantage a tree crop like oil palm has over seed crops like soya, sunflower and rapeseed. So from that point of view, if you look at the demand just for food, oil palm is the only viable crop at the moment you can foresee to meet the demand. To some, that high productivity has also made palm oil look well suited to helping meet the West's growing demand for biofuels, especially a couple of years back when palm oil prices were moderate and crude oil prices climbing fast. Since then, though, huge price volatility for both palm oil and crude oil has dented its attractiveness as a source of biodiesel. Efforts by European countries to protect local sources of biofuel, coupled with an environmental campaign targeting palm oil, haven't helped either. We did actually see about uh, 15 to 20 plants being built in, in the Southeast Asian region, 15 in, in Malaysia and very few of those are, are turning over and, and the handful that do produce very, very low volumes. So the hype has, has come out of the market, uh, the biofuels bubble has, has burst. One company that is making a go of producing biofuel from palm oil is Malaysia's Carotec. Its primary activity is producing carotene, increasingly popular as a natural food coloring, and tocotrienol, a powerful form of vitamin E. Biodiesel is an incidental byproduct of the extraction process. Well, it was a bit of an accident, really, because when we started to uh, produce, uh, well, start our carotec company, we were more interested in the carotene. In the 1995, there was actually no market for uh, biodiesel. The fact that the company's target is nutrients, not fuel, has distinct advantages at times like these. Even if we say break even or even we lose slightly in the uh, biodiesel, we can still sustain over a period where the price of crude palm oil is very high. We have a more uh, sustainable or more competitive uh, process compared to, a, say, a pure conventional biodiesel plant. Another complication for those looking to turn palm oil into biodiesel is the growing controversy about using food crops to make fuel. Malaysian palm oil giant Saim Darby is looking at ways to avoid that conflict, including producing diesel from the biomass left behind by palm oil processing. The technology is already there. There are some companies which are actually doing it on the pilot scale. And this is one area where we want to look for strategic alliances. We have the resources. They may have the technology. The company is also researching a crop originating in Central America called Jatropha. It's widely used as a living fence material in many parts of the world. These are the stage that we're looking for when we want to do harvesting. they got three seeds. Aside from being a non-food crop, its other key advantage is that this hardy shrub grows in poor quality soils. Studies suggest its seeds can yield about half as much oil per hectare as the oil palm. To try to improve on that, researchers here have gathered varieties found in several countries. To do the crossbreeding between, for example, Myanmar and India, maybe we can get different, better variety what we have over here. Among the hurdles researchers face is how to efficiently harvest a crop that doesn't grow in convenient bunches. Still, analysts believe Jatropha holds promise. We need to find alternatives. Um, based on demand and also the, the environmental issue and the food for fuel uh, problem that uh, the biofuels have faced. The only question is, you know, crops like Trofa, it's a crop that we don't understand a great deal about. It's not going to happen overnight. I think we're looking at a five to ten year period before we really start to see some major inroads uh, coming through from these uh, alternative crops. It will prove worth the wait if such crops can help provide a greener alternative to conventional fuel without eating up land that could be used to grow food.